So, you're in the market for a new mobile phone, but smartphones are just not your thing. All those extra functions that you could not possibly need. Someone wants to contact me? They will bloody call or text me. Not on this Facebook or Snapchat shite for you. You're a person in a rush. No time to fiddle with apps. Either that, or you want some simple phone that is tough enough to survive your next meet at the Nuclear Explosion Experience Society. Well then, maybe the legendary Nokia 3310 is just the phone for you. Simple functions that just get the damn job done, and build quality that's seen this bugger being dropped from aircraft, driven over, but not, as far as I'm aware, ever so far, actually been tested with a nuclear explosion. Although, I have the feeling these things are more dangerous to the bomb than the bombers to them. So, convinced we are. Need, we do. Well, options are now open. Do you look on Fleabay or Gumless Tree for a second hand one? Because, let's face it, they don't exactly make new ones anymore. Unless you count the travesty that is the new one, that is just trying to play off the nostalgia card, but fails for reasons that are perhaps for another video. Or, do you go for a Chinese refurbished one? Ooh, that may be an option you have never thought of. Yep, in case you did not know, you can actually get refurbished Nokia 3310s from China. Refurbished with a new case, battery, and in many cases, a new box and charger. And, if you're really good, a manual. For a similar and sometimes less price than a second hand one. Plus you get that nice little warranty in your skyrocket. There are many of these around, but the one I'm about to show you came at the low price of £16.88 from a seller called King of Toys who is UK based, which is handy for UK based people. Links below. Anyhow, what do you actually get for your separation with your hard earns? Well, first of all, you get a new box. Yep, a new box. Exciting, isn't it? Well, it's not exactly the original box, which looked more like this but they put the effort in, and that's appreciated. Although they have gone to the trouble of putting some Nokia guidelines on the box, and even the Nokia website, I doubt very much that it was produced by Nokia. The quality of the print and flimsiness do the job, but after all, you're buying a refurbished phone here, and it's all about the phone in the end. But the box does do the job admirably. Inside the box, they've even gone to the trouble of compartmentalizing it. Wow, that took a few attempts to tell you. With the phone here, an accessory is neatly tucked inside the other flap. With the phone I got, we get an instruction manual, saying it's by Nokia, and although it does the job, a quick clip through the pages show that this is not the sort of quality product that Nokia would have ever made. On the flip side of the coin, with a phone this simple, you really don't need a manual, so just chuck that bugger away. Also in the box are some stickers of dubious origins, you probably best letting the dog bury them with its latest bone. Also, mine came with a power adapter, which although very light, says Nokia on it. If it is a clone, they've gone a long way to put proprietary screws in the bugger. It even has an energy star sticker, so the vote is out on this one. Not that you ever need to recharge these phones, even after the universe has been burnt out for a few trillion years, these will still be sitting on standby, waiting to phone home someday. And onto the star of the show, the phone itself. Well, it quickly becomes obvious when looking at this one that it's had a new case put on. The one thing that gives it away is the Nokia emblems on it. On the original, which I don't possess, it looks like the Nokia name panel is plastic, whereas on this one, they are stickers, and I can't guarantee the longevity of the real one. The other thing that gives it away is that, on mine at least, the paint job on the keys is not perfect and it came with this free bit of dirt behind the screen. If you can put up with that, the case in general seems well constructed and looks pretty much identical to the original. Slide open the case and you will find a brand new battery inside. It says Nokia. Whether it is, is open for debate, but I've had mine going for days and it's still running fine. Push open the retaining clip and you'll see the Nokia sticker saying Made in Finland. The right hand side of the sticker of this is slightly up due to my own curiosity. I saw some reflective stuff showing up from under the label and decided to investigate. Turns out to just be the glue layer they put down first to hold it in place. 
If you're going to put in a modern sim, then you're going to need a few adapters to get it in this. Although, please ignore my rather unconventional method of holding it in with a smaller adapter than needed. It's just that I had trouble getting mine in. At first, I hoped to have used this without a sim and be able to play the games on it. Nope, it has other ideas and won't boot without one. Luckily, here in the UK, these are still supported on modern networks, but this may not be the same in your own country, so buyer beware. Other than that, yep, when it boots up, it's standard 3310 territory. Standard operating system, which I'm not going to show you all around in this video, as I'm sure you all know all about it, and I'm not going to do it. I really am not. Damn it. Let's play Snake. Okay. Snake 2, to be precise. Okay. Uh, trying to do this through viewfinder is impossible, but... Ah. There we go. It's magic. It's magic. It's manic. It's impossible through viewfinder, and it's snake. It's the reason you want to buy this, isn't it? Really? Admit it. It's the reason to buy a 3310. There you go. Okay, there's that. And, well, this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And that's it. Refurbished 3310s from China. Worth the buy? Well, if you want a thoroughly genuine phone, including the box, may as well risk buying a used one. But if you want a phone with a new battery and adapter, and you're willing to take the risk on case quality, then this may be the one for you. After all, that case is just going to get abused and people aren't going to notice from a distance. If guaranteed originality is your priority, buy a second-hand one off eBay. But make sure it's not a fake. If you like these sort of videos, then please consider subscribing. Links are found below to our popular social media groups, where you can talk and get support from like-minded geeks. And you can support the channel through Patreon, to allow us to review more quality, and not so good quality, geeky things. Link down below. It just remains for me to say, I hope you've enjoyed, and thanks very much for watching. You need to quit being dirty. You're a dirty boy. <laughs>